poor representation in politics is just one of the problems that women face in Sri Lanka today. And it is really part of a much larger issue, namely equality, equal rights and equal opportunities. And this was the theme of another celebration in Colombo organized by the United Nations. It was an event that featured discussions and creative performances highlighting achievements and challenges in ensuring equality for all women in Sri Lanka. Equal rights, equal opportunities, progress for all. This was the theme of the UN celebration of International Women's Day in Colombo, reminding everyone in attendance that while there have been significant achievements through advocacy and activism over the last hundred years, progress is still unequal and the struggle is not yet over. For the women of the world, the day's symbolism has wide meaning. It is an occasion to review how far we have come in our struggle for equality, peace and development. It is also an opportunity to unite, to network and to mobilize for meaningful change. And they are being, yes, they While Sri Lanka is one of those countries in the developing world where there are good indicators for women's development, there are still huge gaps where this is yet to be achieved. Sri Lanka is a member of the International Committee, a member committed to human rights including equality. And women in this country have not achieved enough because we have not pursued with commitment the holistic approach to human rights and therefore a future for women in realizing non-discrimination and equality must necessarily lie in the recognition that human rights as stated in the constitution and in international standards are part of our experience and we have not done enough to internalize them. These three categories of women, the plantation women, the migrant women and the um, free trade zone women are the main foreign exchange earners of Sri Lanka. I, I'm not sure why, but this is not emphasized. We don't hear this being mentioned on the political stages, nor uh, is adequate uh, recognition and uh, due uh, notice given to the fact that they earn. But this foreign exchange is what we are really running our country on. If you look at some of the issues that we still have in employment as a whole, uh, which uh, go to equality and equal opportunity, you would find that there is increasing casualization of labor, part-time work for women, and these are things that erode some of the rights that are there. So there is a very real danger there because with uh, the financial crisis and uh, companies restructuring, you find more and more women mo moving out of the formal sector into informal sector, which has its own share of problems and very severe problems. We are talking about rights, we are talking about uh, equal opportunities. So in a conflict situation, we know even the normal spaces that we have for women to take up decision-making positions or to be part of a planning process, even in our own humanitarian efforts, had been a problem. The posh bars, liquor Plantation bars, women, migrant women, degrees. women in casual and informal and labor, women, women in conflict areas. The, the problems are huge and must be addressed if women are to achieve the equality that was discussed at this forum. But what other alternative do they have in Sri Lanka if they were to stop going there? Uh, we have now come to the end of the transition period, I would say, if you compare the situation 15 years ago and the present, there's a huge difference. A drama by the Lanka Children and Youth Theatre Foundation brought to life some of the experiences of working women in Sri Lanka. A hundred years of activism and advocacy has brought results, but clearly not enough. While many governments of the world, including Sri Lanka, have introduced laws and policies, they have not been successful in making sure these are implemented effectively. This requires serious political will, good leadership and zero tolerance for discrimination.
The event ended on an inspirational note, with songs of strength and resilience filling the room and reminding all present that this is a battle that could indeed be won in the future. Equal rights and opportunities, vital ingredients for the well-being of any individual, regardless of their gender, ethnicity or religion. That's all we have time for today. If you have any comments, please write in and share them with us. Thanks for watching No War Zone. I'll see you next week.